Hey, what's good, everybody? It's me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, and you're watching Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Joining me, as always, are my co-hosts from the Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks podcast, Terrific Trav, Double O T, and yeah, Rebellious D. How you fellas doing today? Ready to go, man. Terrific, man. You terrific yeah. right now? We got to yeah. drop the terrific. Yeah, terrific. Yeah, his, yeah, his special bar is full. He's terrific Trav. Is that, is that what happens when he uh, terrific gets all T. three meters full? Yeah, transforms for ten seconds. I thought you were unblockable. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> Trav is speechless. I, I was waiting for him to say something. Yeah. Uh, you know I'm just saying. glad you did it. I'm just. So. Hey, it reminded me of when your boy Rodney Barnes was here. Uh, what's going on, Trav? Right? <laughs> Hey, and uh, that Rodney Barnes interview, it is on uh, YouTube, and you can listen to it on the podcast. I highly recommend it. Unfortunately, I wasn't here for that one, but uh, unfortunately, Unfortunately. just don't shout that out again. Don't shout that out, please. (laughs) But joining us on today's episode is professional voice actress Shara Kirby. Shara, how are you doing today? Hey, doing great, but I'm gonna, I mean, professional, ha. Hey, you are. Anybody's called me professional. I'm anything mm-hmm. but. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, man, man, we sipping water over hey, here. Hey, so. I don't have nothing to drink. I'm I just got my. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. That's water for you. Okay. Yeah. Can't tell you what's water. in this. Yeah, you know, Trav. Trav, stay thirsty, man. I stay so thirsty. Gotta have that uh, water stay hydrated. On. Good googly yeah. moogly. Good googly. <laughs> googly moogly. <laughs> but uh. Good. This is another episode for Black History Month. So, Shara, we really appreciate you joining us up here to celebrate the month with us and everything. You know, it's cool having you up here finally. And uh, I know that we've been friends on social media for some time. So it's just like, I'm really happy that we were able to bring you up here this month for this. Of course. I'm happy to be here, honestly. Hey. Happy. (laughs) Hey, that's what's up. And then another thing that I'm happy about is because it's not too often that we have members of the glasses crew up here and oh, that's you know, right yeah hey we all got on glasses and that's how we do <laughs> See, it up the here. thing is i was debating on whether or not i was gonna wear my glasses because of the glare <laughs> but i was like you know what i actually need to see yeah. in order to do this <laughs> so i'm they're just gonna have to deal with the glare but sure right, enough, hey, hey. Hey, it's I'm, cool. looking at, I'm looking at me glasses. through your glasses right exactly. now. Exactly. Hey, tra- Trav can see the reflection. That's right. No. <laughs> and we ain't talk we ain't talking Mulan neither. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. So Jeez, uh I'm drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get into today's interview, everybody that's watching, make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel, and you hit that bell button so that way you're always notified when we have new content here on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And D, like you tell everybody, every single time, Playboy. Tell them, Reverend D. Don't call me that. <laughs> like, follow, subscribe to the channel. Podcast in the description. Thank you for watching. Banks, you almost made me forget my line. Stop calling me the Reverend. It's not going to be a running joke. It's just Uh-oh. stop it here. Don't even get on the bus. I would, uh, the, I'm Giggling. hopping on this train. I'm sorry, D. Try I need <laughs> Try Oh, my God. Yeah, that's, why we, that's why we have a third guy. So I can be the tiebreaker. I need you on my side, and then it's just sure. he'll leave it alone. Why do you think I agree like to you come right. up with y'all? It's crap. You right, man. Hey, hey, before we get to the interview, Trav, <laughs> I, uh, I wanted to ask you, you know, since you double OT, you know, how you feel about your boy uh, Idris Elba finally getting that role as 007? He going to be well, up there with you. That ain't confirmed, but, you know, <laughs> we, we discussed this two years ago, bro. Hey, I'm all for it. I mean, this is Idris Elba. Uh-huh. This, 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 yeah, he's terrific. one of the... <laughs> it don't get it don't get much sexier than Idris Selba, bro. So who uh, better? Hey, you be better make sound his step. knuckles. That's right. Mm-hmm. Y'all saw how he made that uh that Suicide Squad movie better. Right, that's true. He I, was I, super I, sweet in the lead. He I was, was watching sweet. it before we uh, started doing this interview. Shara, before I ask you your first uh, interview question, how do you feel about Idris Elba being possibly uh, 007 in the new James Bond movie? It's about damn time. Hell yeah. It is about time. We've been talking about this for years. Like, uh-huh. I have been like fan casting this man as 007 since like 15. So mm-hmm. at this point, yeah. it's basically like I just manifested that shit. 
So thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. What can I say except you're welcome? Hey, that's what uh your girl Isabella said. What can I say? You know what I'm saying? Hey. Now, also, too, Shar, one thing that I got to tell you is uh, we don't talk about Bruno up here, so <laughs> now, please don't roll the pot. So we're not gonna mention how it uh, finally beat Let It Go is like the well, yeah, and you know what? We can not We can talk about that. Mm. We can talk about that, we but we don't talk. That. about I didn't that. know that stat. The that's evil interesting. is defeated. Yeah, you know? man. Yeah, let I it don't go. Know. I just. I just watched Frozen the other day, and I still say that soundtrack's pretty fire too. I, mean, I actually like soundtrack, the soundtrack right? too. The soundtrack the second fire. Frozen has good music too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, all, I mean it's all right. Oh. My boy finally got his. Well, song. you ain't seen it. Are so. you sure about? Ooh. Are you sure about that? It, sure it's fire. That? It ain't no Moana, but it's fire. Frozen. No, Moana's. Frozen. What you saying? Frozen is fire. Oh, that's we Tra- hey, That's Trav's opinion. Like I'm not signing off. Frozen it. Two. Okay. Has my favorite. Some of my favorite music. And the second one has, to me, a better soundtrack than the first one, but that's me. I don't know. Hey, the Reverend done spoke. That's it. <laughs> we don't preach the gospel, and it is what it is. Moana is fire too, though. Amen. Moana Moana is fire. Fire. Amen. Nah, but yep. it's it's it. You know, one last thing that I want to say about the uh, Idris Elba thing is because I had posted on Facebook about it, and somebody had commented and was like, "Is uh, he said is somebody going to be shaft? I can't remember." What actor he said? Oh, um, who plays? Who plays uh, Tom Hardy? He said, "Is Tom Hardy going to play Shaft now?" And, I, and I'm just like, bro. The thing is, let's, it's just like people have that. been been wanting Idris Elba as 007. It's been in high demand. Like everybody has been wanting to see this. It's just like mm-hmm. nobody is saying that. <laughs> yeah, I want to see Tom Hardy as Shaft. And going back to the whole uh, Black Superman thing, it's just like nobody asked for that. It's like when everybody heard that it was going to be a Black Superman, it's just like, why? Like nobody asked for a Black Superman. People were just trolling. No, well, no I think- he was serious. <laughs> I think oh, when the double, comics, I think with the double O seven thing, it's more. I don't think it's as big of a race issue as it is over here in America because it's a British thing. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't see it the same way as like if it's Shaft was specifically made for the African American community in the sixties, so they had something like you can't just throw in Tom Hardy and be like, yeah. let's not let's the- yeah, it's not the same, and we're just gonna move, we're gonna move off of that. Oh no, nah, bro! It's Black History but, Month, man. See, hey, you done broke. You done re- broke the screen. This you done moment. broke the screen. Uh, the slideshow. Nah, Tom, that was Tom Hardy. He was just With like your nah. boldness. He said, your boldness, "I'm gonna be shaft. Uh, I'm gonna be shaft." My but. thing is, is that we already had a short 007. I don't think we need another one. As fine as Tom Hardy is, we do not need another short 007. Try. Right. Is short. Bless his heart. Very short. Short. <laughs> I agree. I agree, but. You know, I was about I, to say something. If you see this, I'm sorry, and I love you. <laughs> well, I, and I also want to know: Does Tom Hardy got the soccer skills that Idris Elba got, in as he showed us nah. in the office? Uh, no, nah, he ain't got nah. the soccer skills that oh, Idris nah. Elba got. So, nah. that's my argument. Okay, right there. Okay. Hey, I'm chilling. Yeah. Hey, you chill, right, I'm you good all. on all that. Hey, hey, hey we give, you know. we giving you ammo for the sermon this Sunday. So, hey, stop, I mean, please, please stop. I mean, God, <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> but anyway, uh, so Shara, again, thank you for joining us. Uh, the first question that I always ask all of our guests when we have them up here is, "What is your origin story?" Every hero or villain has one. So, tell everybody who Shara Kirby is. So, um, funny story. I originally did not want to be an actress. I wanted to be a singer um, because my mother um, basically raised me in the church and she almost like the lead singer in the choir. So, of course, in my mind, I was like, oh, I'm going to follow my mom's footsteps and be a singer. Did not come to find out until like round 14 that uh, I was very obsessed with movies and television and of course cartoons and video games. Mm -hmm. Uh, So it didn't necessarily click to me that I could actually pursue acting until a certain show called How to Get Away with Murder released um, with Viola Davis. So in a way Viola Davis sort of became my muse and was like, oh wow. There's a woman who's just like me leading a show on prime television. I can do that. That's two weeks in a row now. How I got a 
uh, how to get away with murder done came up. Two yeah, years yeah, yeah. we talked about it uh, in our interview with Evan Michael Lee. Yep. Mm. Great minds. Love That's that. right. Because, <laughs> like, literally, it's like it was a staple for like the black community in like the early about tens. Yeah. Like, we call them the tens now. Yeah, like, I do the same thing because you got the early two uh, thousands, then you got the early twenty tens. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to call them. I just wish we didn't go past. They should take a Jordan or something. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, so I got it in my mind as a freshman in high school, like, oh, this is gonna be easy. I could just get up on stage and do whatever, right? Um, then I come to find out until I got in front of uh the director of the theater program at my high school, as mm -hmm. well as the entire theater troupe, because somebody thought that was a bright idea to have all those kids up in there while auditions was going on. But I had stage fright and was terrified of public speaking. So I had had my monologue memorized. I was up there and I was about to do it. I choked. I oh, could not sorry. remember a thing. Uh -oh. I tried three times and I was just like, thank you for your time. And it just ran out crying. I was like, I'm never doing that again. Acting is not for me. Flash forward two weeks later, um, so after school, my mom is um, interested in getting this job at this community theater downtown in Southwest Detroit called Matrix Theater. Um, I'm in the car, I'm on my, my Nintendo DS, just, you know, just... Uh... Chilling. <laughs> just, chilling. Just chilling. Chilling, you know? Say, chilling. Hey, say what I say. Just chilling. Like, what, what, what game my... was you playing? Oh, you remember? Yeah, you what remember? game I was at? I think I was playing Fire Emblem. I'm pretty sure. Hey. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I I am a Fire Emblem girl. Fire. So while she was doing her interview, I was doing that. She comes downstairs and she's like, "Sure, sure, sure." They're having um, auditions for their teen company. You should do it. I I know you were interested in that like two weeks ago. I was like, "Yeah, that was two weeks ago. I don't want to do that again." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Well, you're doing it anyway." So <laughs> she sends me in there. Um, Thankfully, I didn't have to have it memorized. It was just a cold read. And, uh, that is my sister. <laughs> um, hey, hey, go ahead and tell your sister to join us in the interview. Hey, just uh, bring her. <laughs> she, she is good. I don't know why she that loud, but, um. Shout, so shout anyway. out. Shout her out. Yeah, shout her out. Shout out we'll always do that. If, uh, <laughs> all right. All but right. Anyway, so, um. <laughs> So I go in, I do the cold read. I'm assuming that they're gonna be like the choir, I mean, the theater director back at my school, like, oh, this girl doesn't know what she's doing. She's not gonna be a good actor. They were actually really nice. and was like, okay, yeah, um, let's give you a few notes and we can just do this again. And I did it about three different times and... <laughs> <laughs> I did it about three different times. And then like, I was just like, okay, that's done. Uh, I'm totally not gonna get a call back for this. Let's just go home. Flash over the next day, I get an email and they're like, hey, um, so we were hoping that you guys join our team company. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, really? You, you guys want me to, really? I sucks. Okay, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. So. <laughs> So basically that was all she wrote. Um, I stayed with that team company for all of my high school career, honestly. And at first it was mainly to help with like um, getting over stage fright as well as public speaking. And I think it didn't really click for me until I was 16 that I was like, oh yeah, no, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And God bless, I had a parent who was supportive of that because you know, that's not common. And we're exactly. like, okay, fine. Not. <laughs> really not. And she was like, all right, fine. If you want to go to college for it, uh, go nuts. But I don't know what you're going to do with a theater degree. I was like, I'm going to make it work. I'm going to be an actor. And so I graduated and, uh, God, that was a long time ago, 2014, 2015. Yeah, I was that young. Um, and then at first I went to community college, then I transferred over to Wayne State University and I graduated with my bachelor's in theater in 2019. Sick. And that Congrats. is when the actual professional story begins. All right. Because, I love I, um, I love that. 
I, I'm sorry yeah. to cut you off, but I, I love that it's just like we got. I mean, because we get origin stories up here all the time, but it's just like this was like an origin story. This was like the prequel. Now yeah. we're at the origin. So I like that. Yeah, now you're at the full blown origin because my VO origin story mm -hmm. starts actually in 2015 with a little game called Dragon Age. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, two games Dragon Age and uh, what is it? The Last of Us. That's what it was. Mm. Oh, wow. Both of those, yes. Both of those games really kind of solidified for me that, oh, voice act, like voice over. That's actually a really great career choice. Like, and you can do both. Because at the time, I didn't know you could do both. I was mainly focused on film and TV. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then to discover like, oh, wow, I could. <laughs> uh... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Really? <laughs> and then like just to discover that like um I could do not only film and TV but also voiceover. That's a thing. You can do all of them? Okay. Um and so uh after I graduated, I started mainly focusing on like classes that were oriented towards on camera and voiceover because you know how public colleges are. If you don't take a additional F um, in your degree, you don't get the little specialized classes that aren't just acting one and that's it. Right. So um, I didn't get my first professional credit in VO up until the craziest year of our century, which was 2020. Um, <laughs> at the time, I was actually still in the indie-verse of VO. I was mainly looking at auditions um, on Twitter and online, anywhere I could get, just not pay-to-play sites. I hate those. Um, and so 2022, yeah. the 2020, the, uh, everything that went down with like the protests and everything, um, suddenly all these studios wanted more diversity in their rosters and they were asking for uh, demo reels for people um, on Twitter. And I was like, well, my demo kind of isn't really the coolest, but I'm still going to send it just in case. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, I got my first uh, audition and funny enough, <laughs> Funny enough, it was for po <laughs> funny enough, it was for Pokemon Masters uh, EX. And um, I originally did not audition for B, I auditioned for Nessa. Right. And then, so I originally auditioned for Nessa. And uh, they gave me a call back and was like, okay, can you do this audition in a British accent? And I was like, oh. Sure, sure thing. Oh, and that. then <laughs> and then afterwards, I didn't hear from them for a few weeks, and I was like, "Well, I figured I wasn't gonna get that." And then the next thing you know, I was like, "Hey, can you audition for B?" And I was like, "B, okay." I wasn't really knowledgeable of the region, right? Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I didn't know who B was, but I was like, "I can do a British accent, so I can make it work." And a uh, couple of weeks later, bam, bada, bam, I got my first professional credit, technically. <laughs> there goes B right there. Uh -huh. B right there. And I did not do that on purpose. Don't either. do it on purpose. And I, I, I <laughs> love that. Like, that's how the story wrapped up. And then B was right behind us. I think it's awesome, you know, hearing your journey from, you know, when you started out and you were shy doing theater work and then, you know, to where you are right now. Um, you know, cause I just started taking voiceover classes as well. And like the first class that I did, like I was nervous the entire time because I was afraid that I was gonna be stuttering over the script that I had to read and all this other stuff. And uh, I, I did pretty well, you know, I was, I was proud of myself and I just did my second class recently and I felt a lot better doing it this time around than the first time. But I totally get where you're coming from. And it's crazy because Trav, he always gets on me about this because I'm a professional wrestler. And Damn right you are. Buckle up. Right and when are. I'm in the ring cutting the promo, like it's easy, you know? And it's just, uh, it's an interesting take when it's like you're reading a script and you have to have these emotions. Like, because uh, the teacher in the class is Matthew David Rudd. 
And, you know, one of the things that he was saying is, you know, when you see that exclamation mark on the end of a sentence, it's just like, well, how should, how excited should I be when I finish reading the sentence? It's like, do I want to scream it or am I only excited and talking to people in the room? You know, it's the vocal range is definitely a scary thing when voice acting is something that you're just getting into. So, yeah, I, I think it's cool that, you know, your journey, it brought you to where you are right now. And then being in Pokemon Masters, like that's a huge game. Like everybody knows what Pokemon is. Were you a fan of the series when you were coming up? No idea. Huh? Yeah, your audio went Hello? out. Okay, yeah, My we audio you. went out. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is that a, is that a serious question? I'm, uh, yeah, for him it is. Him? It is. <laughs> yes. Pokemon. I mean, we're the same age. Like, <clears throat> Pokemon came out the year I was born. So hey, you'll be surprised. Hey, it's some people that don't like Pokemon, and they only like Digimon. You'll be surprised. I love but, uh, both. I don't yeah. discriminate, okay? I was going to say, where are they at? That's the way to do it. Where are they? Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? <laughs> but yeah, no, like, I grew up. Like, I grew up as a Pokemon kid. I watched the anime. I played all the Pokemon games up until, I think, I want to say Sun and Moon. I think those are, that's mm -hmm. the last, last Pokemon game that I played. But other than that, like, I was a full-blown Pokemon fan. So to, like, get this and cast, I was like, huh? Really? That's right. And then they he up here asking you them stupid questions. Right? Like, come on. Come on. Come on. All right, well, then, well, then let me ask you this question, because <laughs> this is a hard question. <laughs> and some people don't remember, but who were your original six Pokemon on the first Pokemon game? Oh. Jesus, Banks. Yeah. I, I still remember mine. See, see, you got me. You see, got me. I told you. But um, Banks, you can't put that on everybody. That's like over 20 years Well, you years can't ago. put that. Hey, I still remember. Look, Pokemon you Rev. You can't put that on everybody. Oh, Pokemon no. Rev. Well, man, hey, hold on, now. Rev. Hold on, Rev. I'm uh, talking. Don't, there ain't no Rev in here. I had Get Charizard. Get out the hot tub, D. He comes. I had Charizard. I had Blastoise, Venusaur, Vaporeon, Pidgeot, and Mewtwo. That was my original six on uh, Pokemon this guy. Rev. Yeah. yeah. All right. This dude right. just went out and got like the all the all the, the all strongest the Pokemon yeah. you could possibly have. See, I want to say it was Pikachu. Uh... Thank you for being realistic, Miss uh, <laughs> Kirby. Like, I know, yeah. I know, I know, I, know I had Pikachu. Last that, like, every, game, every game I got, I was like, I have to get Pikachu. Just say so you had all the starters, Banks. I didn't hey. have all the starters. You, you uh, just Charizard. named them all. Okay, Pikachu, Charizard, Raichu, mm -hmm. um, Eevee. I never leveled up my Eevee because I was like, that's not happening. Uh, did I get a Mew? I think I had a Mew. And um, what's Pidgey? I had Pidgey. Okay, thank Pidgey. you. That's a that's a great answer. Yeah, but by the great time answer. you get to the end of the game, you're gonna have the most powerful Pokemon, though. I mean, that's just. That's what happens. Yeah. Try have this guy. That's, that's not the answer a number one hero would have. That's all we know. Yeah, that's we all know. we're saying. All the that's it's, all we're saying. it's no matter how you get there, as long as you finish the journey. That's what a hero would say. Uh, yeah, well, you could finish the journey with your six Radita or your six <laughs> If that's what you want to do. Can you, though? Can you, though? Can you, though? I'm pretty, exactly. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Exactly. If you, if you uh, don't let them evolve and you just uh just keep leveling them up yeah i said the word then uh yeah i'm pretty sure you can beat the game okay all right thanks you're just despicable there's no way you're gonna you're beat it no you're not way. gonna beat the, uh, no the, the scum of the with, earth yeah with six pidgey <laughs> yeah, yeah you can do it. it i'm pretty sure you're not you gonna do it. It. this guy this man d is this... disgusted with hey, you right he, hey <laughs> hey from the mo hey, from the moment i hit it set call today, Trav. I have been. <laughs> I've been dude, about here with him. This is D about to uh, bring me, bring me Bro, in to study. Oh my <laughs> yeah, God. I got something for you. I, I, I bet you do. <laughs> uh, dang, but no, but yes. uh, but back to the interview though. I know. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, we, we snowball. Kinda, yeah, we snowball pretty hard though. <laughs> um, but 
I wanted to talk about because I saw that you were in Rainbow High, and that's a pretty mm -hmm. popular show that's on YouTube right now. It's kind of yeah. similar to Bratz, and like even when you look at the style, it, it's kind of like a leveled up version of Bratz in a way. So Funny I want to. It's it's by the same people. It's oh, it is. Oh, wow. that, yeah. also that makes wow. sense. It's the exact same people. That makes sense then. Yeah, so now, when he said it's a pretty popular show, did I hear you say it is? Who? No, that's oh, okay. It is? I, was, I was just laughing. Who, me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Why she, you I say it like Because I don't think I'm out there. It's bro, hard to read crowd the, sometimes. It's like, bro, D hit us with the Scooby Doo when they was just like, hey, there's a dog here. Oh, <laughs> oh, what are you doing? But no, but, but Char, but no, go ahead, though. No, um, that process was. Well, kind of in the same vein, I got an audition. I think I had been auditioning for Rainbow High like a few times before I booked Robin. Um, Jenny Yokobori, who was like the um, VO director of the whole thing, she um, was really fighting for me to be Robin because um, there was a very uh, intriguing um, way that Robin spoke. It was sort of kind of like, transatlantic but i really don't know how to do a transatlantic accent so <laughs> <laughs> so i kind of had to like focus on like this uh uh this tiktok series that kiki palmer used to do uh -huh. um i don't know if she still does it but it's like she does that style of voice so i basically had to mimic that um hmm. for the process but other than that like i it was pretty entertaining and very interesting <laughs> Um, I cannot tell you how many takes I had to do for certain lines because they just really wanted her to be super dramatic. <laughs> mm. And I could see that when I was uh, watching the video. Um, I know something that a lot of voice actors tell us is when they voice characters, they buy their figures and stuff like that. Have you bought a Robin Sterling? Yes, no? I have. <laughs> nice. $50 awesome. right out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Uh, Damn. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> like, and it was so surprising because like every time I would try to get her, because I didn't get her in an initial release, like she sold out. Like, oh wow! Like that, I didn't. Now I will say I did not realize how popular Rainbow High was up until that happened. Because I was like, damn, my character hasn't even come out yet, and it's already sold out. What's oh, yeah, going on? Pop, yeah. It's it's just like the. Yeah. Uh, what were those things? Uh, not the Tamagotchis. Uh, try, what, do, what were the uh, the bears that I had gave your girls? Oh, the, the Beanie Babies. Beanie Babies. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, those are pretty popular too. Yeah, and then I mean, yeah. you know, Shara, you said that it's the same people who did Brat. So yeah, it's like MGA, I feel when it comes to these toys, like whether it be Funko Pops or you know dolls and stuff, <laughs> animals and stuff, it's like. They're in high demand, and it's oh, like yeah. if you don't if you don't get it like as soon as it drops, and of course you know people they try to get it so that way that they can scalp it and whatnot. But um, nah, yeah, it's one of those things that you got to be quick on getting when it comes out. But I think that that's cool. And uh, oh, go ahead. Did you just say something? Oh no, I was saying right because like scalpers was buying the yeah heck um, out of that whole entire I mean, set. He's not used to people agreeing with him, so he was caught yeah. off guard. That's yeah, all he that sure will. Look at him. <laughs> no, 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 there's a smile. There it is. No, I know, for example, um, I got my wife the uh, the vision the vision from WandaVision, the black and white version. I guess uh -huh. it's like the 60s vision, but Wanda was sold out for months. You know, it just now just came back into stock recently. Recently? And it just, yeah, like recently. And this was got like holidays back in, were over. Yeah, like this was back in like October. I was like, hey, Jesus. So yeah, they're just high demand scalpers, you know. Yeah. yeah. Gotta make that dollar. The black market sales, you know. Now I wanna know, what is Transatlantic? I don't know where that's located. So um Transatlantic refers to the style of acting that the um Hollywood actors used to do during the own say the 30s it's like oh the like the golden the era of movies yeah like the golden okay. era so mm. the days of um marilyn monroe and audrey hepburn and all right of them, like the way that they speak in those like movies yeah i got they you basically okay train them to like sort of to sort of sound british but not sound british it's, it's real like proper yeah. 
Yeah, it's very. I'm just gonna say it's very difficult to yeah, yeah. explain because um, the way that they trained them to speak, it was almost sort of like they wanted them to be proper, but they also wanted them to sound foreign. So um, mm. I don't really know what logic was going on during that time period. Not a lot, but um, not a lot, as you know. So yeah. basically, they wanted to have them mimic the British. Yeah, basically. Kinda. I mean, that's the easiest. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah so, basically. Uh, yeah. I think they wanted to be British, but not British. It was yeah. very interesting. Weird. <laughs> but, now, do you uh, think it? You think it just came down to maybe somewhere down the grapevine, somebody was like, "Hey, British accent is very attractive. Why don't we have our actors emulate it?" I mean, no. just think. I don't I mean, know. Hey, I have no you, idea. I mean, you got a lot of stars that came out with that, like Marlon yeah. Brando. Mm -hmm. uh, what's his face? Paul. What is it? it Paul Newman? Paul Newman? Uh, Paul? Yeah. Was it Paul? I believe so. Yeah, Trav's a specialist, so he's got some names. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know too much. Movie, I don't really know too much about that era, to be honest with you. Well, you know a guy who knows. I know guy. like I know the stars. Much. I don't. Yeah. I know a guy. I know a guy. Yeah, you <laughs> know a guy who knows. Hit up the hit up the Oscar worsties. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, hit up the Oscar worsties. We got some weapons. We got some aces. Yeah, but yeah. You know, Shara, something I wanted to piggyback off of what you had said. It's because like during the voice uh, acting class, they was uh, one of the guys was using a uh, British accent and Matt had told him, he was just like, if you don't usually talk like that, then you want to choose to use that accent during like your audition or what? Yeah, like, yeah, I'll stick with audition and you get the part like you have to talk like that the entire time. And yep. It's like what they hear in that audition, like that is what they are going to want to hear when you do that part. So I want to ask you, like, is it difficult, like trying to keep that accent the entire time? Like are, are there any times where it's just like you slip up and it's just like, hey, I need to do it again. Like it's off a little bit. Yeah, that has happened a few times for me. Um, if the session goes on a little longer than expected. Um, it's a very interesting, I mean, hell, with any accent that you're just not native to, it, while you might be, while you might be trained in it, like, thankfully I was trained to do, um, like, your standard broad London ear accent. Um, there are times, though, when I can't help but slip, like, for example, when B says, let's go, I, <laughs> there was a time where I was saying, let's go, and, um, Kathy Pula, the casting director, like the voice director was like, yeah, can you do that again? Um, it's just, it, it sounded a little Australian on this, on this end a little. So you have to like, very, like if you're doing a British accent or any other like type of different accent and you're not native to it, know what you're doing. <laughs> and uh, also be aware that you could be in like, two hour plus long sessions, especially when it comes to like video games and like prelay doing different accents. Uh, because at, I mean, at the end of the day, nowadays they want authenticity. Um, right. And you know, if they can't go all the way over across the pond to get a legitimate British actor, they still want to hear um, the very best that's coming out from you if you're claiming that you could do a British accent. For sure, for sure. I mean, that's always, you know, for the most part, it seems like that's what they always aim for. You know, they want the best, the best you can give. And uh, hopefully best. you can give them the best around like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But yeah, I like that. I like yeah, that. Right. Had to throw it in there. Stop. Uh -huh. Guys. <laughs> Guys. Look, hey, double O. Come on. Hey, B going to become Bible man. <laughs> Bible man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, hey, after this interview, see. We hey, we get D angry after this interview. He's gonna have a strong lecture. Mm -hmm. still a yeah, so no, hey, I no, no, I gotta go. Dinner's ready. I don't want to hear any of that. That's right, don't man. go anywhere. Don't okay. go anywhere. We, we get in the full sermon. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, because Shara, you know, I know that you did some theater work, and Trav is our theater guy. So Trav, I wanted to pass the ball to you about All the right. theater questions. Well, you know, I was looking at the list and I seen a Christmas Carol. I got excited because I love oh, wow. me some Charles Dickens. Uh, I know we was just talking about, you know, British accents, British people. I love Charles Dickens. 
And I just think it's always cool when we get people up here who um, got a love for theater and were able to participate in it. You got sometimes you got to let them know right there. From a Christmas Carol, that was hell. <laughs> That's oh, all wow. I'm gonna say. Yeah, Christmas Carol. Carol was not my favorite production. Um, uh, at our school, uh, Christmas Carol was kind of like the hell production. Right. No one wanted to do it, uh, mainly because there was just a lot of like functions that. Sorry, <laughs> she's having a temper tantrum. Uh, basically, okay. what went on in the production is just. Uh, Girl. Girl. Girl, snatch her up. <laughs> like, we gonna put you on a Christmas carol, you keep it up. Girl. Oh! Like, genuinely sorry about this. No, you're, um, you're fine. It's all right. Like, yeah. basically, um, Christmas carol was kind of like the hell production, mainly because of like all the intricities, like interest, whatever that word is, intricacies. Yeah, that word. Um, that went into it like everybody had to wear like a body like the women had to wear like two piece like <laughs> bodiest gowns with right corsets. yeah right for um, that air yeah and like men had to wear like links and like toupees and everything now if we were just in one costume throughout the entire production it'd be fine right it'd be great we have to do like numerous quick changes, even the ensemble, like, cause right. we could be going through days and different timelines and the machinery within like the set was just insane. So we had to do a lot of blocking. There was a lot of rehearsal and uh, it was not, a, it was not the best times. It was not the best of times. Um, but I did learn a lot through that entire, you know, production as crazy as it was. <laughs> right. Learn some life lessons. So I have a follow-up question. Um, what would you say was your favorite production? Out of all of the theater productions that I've done. Yeah. Um, was there just one that really stuck out that you were like, man, that was a blast? Wow. Um, man, I really feel like I leveled up. Any of that? <laughs> hey, we asked yeah. the hard questions here. Yeah. It was I mean, original... I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. It was a yeah, it was an original production that uh like the teen company that I was a part of did like I want to say during the year before I graduated it was mm -hmm. like a it was like a <clears throat> Halloween musical spectacular <clears throat> and oh, that's we right went my through alley. yep <laughs> and we went through like all the pop songs of like the current year which was like 2014. So there was one particular moment in like the musical where I got to sing like a zombified rendition of somebody I used to know. Mm. But instead it was That's called sick. Now You're Just Somebody That I Used to Gnaw. Uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, not That's a good I name. To, I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I also got to play Sarah McLaughlin. Nice. As this very crazy woman who, if you did not donate to uh, the ASPCA, she was going to kill all the dogs. So, oh god, <laughs> oh god. it's like as soon as you oh. said that, it's like the, the song started playing in my head, man. Isn't it, isn't right. it uh, in the arms? Don't be in the arms of the angels. Don't yeah. be in the arms of the angels. Yo, uh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Quick story, and I got my ass whooped for this. Um, I remember, <laughs> I remember because uh, when my I was, favorite story. When I Go was ahead. a kid, <laughs> I told my brother that the reason how he came into our family was <laughs> <laughs> was that the God. commercial the commercial came on, and he oh, was and he was up there, and my mom called the number. My mom, my mom said, "I want that one." <laughs> oh my God. Thanks, you're you're terrible, oh. despicable, despicable. Oh, but, yeah, I'm glad I'm not of, you. Nothing one. about that story sounds off base. Like that sounds totally believable. That's, yeah, that's exactly what he, he would do. do. Something like he that. would do I something. Know, like yeah, that. I used to get in trouble all the time. Uh, his brother's like, such a nice guy too. It's just terrible. Just believe in him. You. My my big brother wouldn't lie to me. Why would he lie to me? <laughs> yeah, look I, at this guy. I got delivered by the, the stork. He was on the TV <laughs> and the song was playing when they showed him up. <laughs> He's crying. I miss my home. 
<laughs> I know that anthill right there. Just put this poor oh, kid. Wow. Oh man! Oh. Look, <laughs> he just laughs about it. He... Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> all right, um, there's your number one hero. There's your number uh, one hero. Yeah, there he is, people, in all his Jeez. glory, parading around, telling the kids you can do whatever you want. But this is the real hell. <laughs> is, there he is, right there. A menace. <laughs> A menace to society. <laughs> Uh, oh god but that show you're talking about <laughs> bush gardens around here kind of does something like that for halloween where they take renditions of popular songs and twist them into like halloween related mm -hmm. uh versions like uh this year instead of beyonce they had seance uh, that's was her sweet. name uh -huh. And it was just stuff like that where they would just put a spin and then they would do like the songs and make them scary. Ah. So that's cool that y'all did that. I like that. I was about to say, in back in the day, I knew that was not scary. I thought it was corny. But, you know. <laughs> well, we like now, corny up here. Yeah. We like corny. I want to I wanna follow that up. I got to ask. Let me piggyback off you, Trav. Hey, piggyback Since we're off. here. Hey, I got you. Give me a, bo give me a boost. One of these. Boom! Good oh, googly yeah. moogly. <laughs> Good googly moogly. Hey, googly moogly. No, but I wanted to ask, um, are you into horror? Do you have a favorite horror movie? Yeah. What? Oh, what oh, you I, feel, I feel pretty good now that I didn't ask a dumb question now. I feel pretty good about that. Okay, no, so that's ask not true. My, you got ask Come my on, teachers babe. always tell me there's no yes. such thing as a dumb yeah, question. Yeah, tell this guy. Oh, but when I do it, it's okay. Correct. It's not a, no, you ask people unbelievable questions. You, you also you're told your at. little brother you got him from the pound. Yeah. So, I mean. you, you're in timeout, sir. <laughs> it was a perfect opportunity to ask my question. So what? Yeah. what is... Okay, I'm now that we got that. Uh, I guess if you... I'm like, I'm a big psychological horror fan. Like, my favorite nice. okay. horror series is Saw. Ooh. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, that's the easy. That's Saw good. Saw 3D. We don't talk about Saw 3D. I like Saw 3D. Hold on, which one? Why? That's Hold on, seven. Wh which? No, I think no, it's no, seven. no, 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 no. We gotta pause. Why? Well, Why okay, so not the Why? 3D. Not Hold the you 3D. Mean, you mean Jigsaw, right? Nah, that's the one. Talking, nah, she's I, talking about Saw Seven, the final chapter. She's talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, that's right. We don't talk but, about that. <laughs> look, yeah, the story's ridiculous, but of course, I felt like once they got the like five, it was no holds barred offhand ridiculous anyways but the deaths in seven <laughs> what is he doing the deaths in seven are really good hey d hey like lift your glasses have, up lift hey your lift your glasses, glasses up bro <laughs> because we don't know what trial talk about right <laughs> i'm talking about the final chapter it's all right <laughs> like I went blind. is that the one it's that's kind of like a prequel where he had no a no that's no that's jigsaw, jigsaw. And that saw the final dude. chapter Fall, uh, saw the final oh, chapter dude, dude. Well, dude. Well, 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 yeah, I'm just it's trying so to dude. hold on. Which one did you say was doo -doo? Tractor is good, I, but Jigsaw is doo doo. Jigsaw's doo doo. Yeah, Jigsaw I, wasn't you, that good. I mean, is the final chapter worse than Jigsaw? No. no. Yes. No. Yes. No I'm way. Hey, hey, it's one yes. thing when you get me and Trav agreeing on something. Yeah, uh, yeah. You've done broken. Good. We've this episode 156. <laughs> No, she done broke a streak There's a lot right leveling here. up. Shara breaks the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Look, D disappeared. <laughs> like, Look, <it's> the, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you, the Reverend got to go pray for her. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he get, hey, he, he getting the holy water ready. <laughs> no, Jig, I, I, I honestly thought no, Jigsaw was my, just terrible. Yeah, Jigsaw wasn't that. I, okay, there was. Look, I'm not gonna fuck. I'm not gonna. <clears throat> Brown. I mean, like the ending. I ain't really mess with the ending either. But the final chapter. Dude, oh, the final oh, chapter has good kills, though. Jigsaw has no good kills. No, it does not. Oh, uh, uh. The only good kill in the final chapter. Yeah, is the, beginning the beginning kill is sweet as hell, it. dude. That's hey, it, it had a hell of an every opening. Every other trap sucks. It had a hell of an opening. Hey, remind me it real quick. Is it the final chapter, the one where the guy lied? That no, he, that's Jigsaw. Yeah, that is. No, no you're talking about yeah. the when he lied about getting the hooks in. Him, yeah, that's so. the final chapter. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. uh, where he went to the little um the, the, book, the yeah. Jigsaw. Yeah, I'm a survivor meeting. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. She was like, yeah. <laughs> remember the girls? Like the best part is I get the handicap parking. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty funny. funny I, okay, so I mean, since we're here and we're talking about Saw, um, mm-hmm. it's like I didn't think that the final chapter was a bad movie, but I felt like the way that it it because at the time this was like the final movie in the series, and I and I felt Hence like the title. Yeah, I'm, title. I'm just yeah. like, uh, I'm, it's like I didn't think that it ended on a good note for this to be. You the can't final. end it on a good note though. When no, you have a I'm talking about. I'm talk, no, what long? I mean is like by you end the movie because you're ending the franchise and you're satisfying like all of the fans that uh, i feel like but it you'll did. never freddie you couldn't do, do it. that with series no you can't freddie didn't do it freddie's is garbage the last freddie movies are bad freddie five is b- or bro, six you about to make right? sarah leave man bro come on. come on uh what is the last freddie movie not Wes craven's new nightmare but the one before you talking about the remake or are you talking about no 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 I think no, it's six. Dream, uh, Freddy's, uh, Freddy's dead. Yeah. 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 That shit is doo 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 doo. You I can't agree with that. I will. Agree I with that. I don't feel like when you have a franchise that goes on that long, man, it's always gonna end poorly. I mean, yeah. look at yeah. look Holy at Friday scatter. the Thirteenth. Look, we no, got Jason no. X, bro. To I gotta, end, end I gotta disagree with that though. Interesting. Because literally, yeah, yeah, Saw yeah. Six. <laughs> had one of the most satisfying endings in the latter half of the series. So my but thing But they didn't is, end it. You, but that's my thing. Get you em. could have had a really great ending had you followed the same schematics of Saw 6. You but they didn't. Like, you could have did the um the doctor uh what is it Dr. Gordon, Gordon reveal doctor, right, so yeah. much better. Yeah. so much yeah, better that was a sweet than reveal, how though. it did like they just had sure. hoffman as like this wild psychotic <laughs> dude throughout the entirety of it and i'm like that's not it took hoffman. out the whole f yeah like that's not hoffman at all <laughs> hoffman hey. isn't like i mean i understand like maybe because he got his jaw almost ripped off he might have mm-hmm. went a little yeah, he low, sold though. it back on one mm. but <laughs> Man. But that crazy, nah, Hoffman. I don't that know. was that was wrong in terms mm. of character. Yeah. That was wrong. Oh, hey, that was game. Talented. That was Game hey, of Thrones hey, before D. Game of Thrones. Right yeah, there. it was. And what? <laughs> hey, D, if, if Griff was here right now, he would shut all of us down. This the man. This the man. You know how big he is in the soul. Like, no, I didn't. Oh I mean, yeah. And then having Jill. And then that was another thing. Like, as much as I love six. The way that they had Jill set this man up, I'm like, but why? I understand it's because, oh, he kept it a secret that Amanda fucked up your baby and that's the reason why your ex-husband is dead. Mm-hmm. But like... The juicy drama. Juicy. Okay, Empire. He's not the one who <laughs> killed your baby. Nope. The girl who's responsible is dead. So what's good? It doesn't yeah. make sense. There's a lot of things I have. Like, I love it, but there are problems that I have with it. At the end of the day, though, if I had to compare overall, because while I did have problems with the final chapter, I also had problems with Jigsaw. Overall, I'd say Jigsaw did a better job with its exposition from first to climax to end than the final chapter. And you know we can agree to disagree on that. But we gonna have to. You know what's <laughs> you know what's funny I, about? I want to ask you yeah, this. Thanks. I want to ask you because you know we're talking about Jigsaw. We're talking about the final chapter. How'd you feel about Spiral though? I do not like that reaction. <laughs> I think that that's what I was gonna talk about. I think that by the time Spiral came out, thanks. I don't know about you. But when we went to see it, it was just kind of like I expected a plot twist. You know what I mean? We all did. It's like, yeah, like how many times can you get away with the same one trick pony? Yeah. And then it's when like they you showed were waiting the, for it. The, the yeah. one dude. Go ahead, Shara. Yep. Yeah, yes. I don't have no words for Spiral. Like, I'm, it was I'm so happy, predictable in a way. I'm happy that Chris Rock got to flex his drama muscles, I guess. He did okay. He did. He did. He did. But okay. you want a head thought, nod in the slice? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I thought Chris Rock was great. And, and I don't Spider. know why Samuel decided to say yes to this project. Because he said, Samuel, he, he did snakes on the plane. He says, yes, he says yes to every project. Yeah. So he, he, hey, he already told you, hey, if it's paying, I'm in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's about the money. Yeah. So, that name, hey, boy, that name and they had a, gets him everywhere. 
you know, they, they had a fire uh, soundtrack. You know, that 21 Savage Spiral soundtrack's fire. So, I heard hey, that, Jigsaw, huh? Jigsaw ain't have no fire soundtrack. That's all Not I'm this saying. Guy. Jigsaw oh, ain't have 21. 21. <laughs> so, uh huh. So, Thanks, Traps for booty. Every single uh-huh. one of them traps was ass. I don't yeah. know. It, like, yeah, they were. Yeah, it was literally just torture. At that point, I was kind of just like, yeah, y'all can't come up with nothing else. Y'all yeah. can't come up with nothing else. Yeah. All the best, all the best traps you could possibly think of, they gone. You can't think of yeah. nothing else. This was, was not necessary. The yeah. plot was, like D said, completely predictable. Like predictable as we, hell. We saw who it was coming, like right. from jump. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, as cute as he was, I was like, yeah, no, he's it. He's it. I don't know why, but he's it. And sure That's enough, right. he was it. Yeah, yep. and then it's like they didn't show like how he died. Like they showed how everybody else died, but they didn't show how he died. It's just That's like right. it's like that come scene on. gave it away. Yeah, it's like that scene gave you know, it I was like, if you're not gonna show how he died. That kind of gives it away. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. When it comes to plot Not twist, though, dumb. it's really hard to top the first one. I mean, it's or really the, hard to compete with that. There's nothing more iconic than that. There's first nothing more film. iconic than that. Hell there's no. nobody walking this planet that saw that coming at the end. I don't care who you are. You lying if you saw yeah, that the dead sure. man was about to get up and Wild hit him with the door you. shut. Wow. No way you. you saw it coming. Yeah. Another I thing. No, go ahead. No, No, ladies first. No, we want to know what that wish is. No, I mean, like, I wish I could literally, like, take my brain, sanitize it, get rid of all the memories I have a saw, and go back to the first one just to experience that plot twist again. For sure. It's It's definitely one of those moments. My jaw dropping after that. I was like, okay, I'm sold. This is my favorite series. (laughs) I rest in peace to uh, Danny Glover. That's right. You know. But Got you know, it. I wanted to say about like the traps. It's like it seemed like the further along that the movies got, it seemed like the traps weren't winnable at all. And that's what I loved about the earlier movies was because it's just like the traps. It's like they were interesting, and the people like they had a chance to win it, but they had to sacrifice something. Whereas like in Jigsaw, not Jigsaw, I'm sorry, like in Spiral. Mm. It's like mm. all of the traps, like there was no They're way. They were just torture. That, yeah, they were just torture because just he torture. wanted to get revenge. So it, it was no yeah. way that those people would win those games. So I will say, um, I won't say that the movies moving forward were, uh, they weren't winnable, but it was like in the second movie, the, uh, what was it, the trap house or the, I thought, I forgot what they called it, yeah. but it was like all they had to do was work together. They play yeah. their own games and they win. Then you had the one where old boy goes through. And uh, when his wife is working on Jigsaw's brain, yeah, right, right. all he had to do was help those people. But he was so filled yeah, yeah. with rage, yeah, he killed most of those people as so. So it well, was just they created mm. iconic traps, dude. Like that head trap is like iconic. Oh yeah, now in oh, horror, you know, the, uh, the revert, uh, the rack. I no, not the rack. The, the reverse bear trap. The, jaw, the, the, the reverse jaw. bear trap. Yeah. Like yeah. that's their ghost face mask. You know what I mean? That like, thing for is, the franchise. That is that scary. Thing is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Just, she had my favorite the finger trap point. was the death yep. mask. Or like the was Venus the what? fly trap one in Saw 2. Like the Venus fly trap one. Did it have nails? Oh, the dude who had the yeah. nails inside yeah. of it? I love uh. that trap so much. Mainly mm-hmm. just because of just how winnable, but also unwinnable it was. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the one where the key was behind his eye? Is that that yeah. guy? Yeah. 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 It's like brutal. Brutal. Yeah. Think about and it I'll this t- way. You gotta cut your eye out to get a key. <sighs> but that shit's gonna hurt. Like, oh my god, man. I can't well, imagine. Well, not more than uh, a steel Venus fly, fly trap. That's for Either, sure. <laughs> like the other <laughs> when the chick where she had to stick her hands up into the uh yeah. the last job. And oh, it's just like man. yeah, and then the razor blade. I was just like, oh god, man. Yeah, dude, in this when they it's not a trap but when they have like the pit of heroin needles or whatever yep. that Oof. always makes me cringe dude yeah, it's just the hurts. thought oh, could you man, imagine oh, throwing God. her ass in there i was yep. like oh my yeah. god mm-hmm. no. you're bored wow that would be my worst nightmare I would I, not move a muscle. Thanks. <laughs> Bro, thanks, we could talk about Saw for like 20 minutes. I know. I know and we need to get back to that. I mean, but no, but this is what Sorry. we do. This is no, what we cool. do here, We man. snowball up here. No, but this is. I, I was sitting here thinking. I was just like, man, like, 
what if like I had to get a key and it was in like a giant vat of water bugs? You know what I'm this, saying? Like bro, I'm, D, yes. any, <laughs> D, anytime he can insert himself into the story, look at him. And I was I'm just here thinking, what if I was in Saw and I had to get these water bugs? You yeah, know, and what, water they would bugs. kill me. They would kill like, me. They would. Like y'all, y'all would have to carry on the podcast because I wouldn't be here anymore. I mean, try, hey man, we. Hey, hey, I, I've seen what y'all could do before. I know y'all could do it. Well, we got it. Try. All we gotta do is mix up our technique next time. We got this. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Banks don't make the world go round. That's right. Apparently. Terrific okay. team. Uh, di- different strokes. All right. Hey, yeah, I can see it. Oh God. Uh, Willis, the Golden Palace. Willis, you don't even Willis know that is, and do Arnold. But oh, um. Stop. But no, a question that I've been wanting to ask, you know, since we uh been talking about Saw and everything, was you were a part of Death Battle. <clears throat> and not just once, but twice, you got the voice Storm and you got the voice That's Batgirl. Sick. Now, I can't remember who won in the Batgirls and Spider-Gwen. Did Batgirl win? Spider-Gwen. Also, oh, okay, so Spider-Gwen. That, so, was, that was all she wrote. The minute I cast, got cast, I was like, y'all really... Y'all set this girl up. What kind of a matchup is this? I agree. Like, kind of tough. That's yeah. pretty tough. Lynn had the whole symbiote attached to like her suit and everything. I'm like against a little trick trick belt. Come yeah. on. I already knew it was a rat for me. Now yeah. the storm and Cora fight. That's where that was a toss up. I was like, oh, who would win? And then like as I was like reading the script and going through it. Uh, and I got to the part where apparently Storm won. I was like, oh, yeah, I get to win this time. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. They looked out for you. They was just like, they we're not going to have you lose twice. Oh, no, nah, they got to put some respect on Storm's name. That's what they happened. Do. I know that when that fi- when that fight yeah. was announced, I know that like the nerdum and the fandom, like it was a it was a hot debate because it's like people were just like, come on, like. Everybody knows that Cora is going to win the fight. Like Storm's not going to win this. But when I was looking at it, I was just like, I don't know. I think Storm's going to win because, like Cora, even though she has, you know, the power of all the, like she is the Avatar and whatnot. Um, Storm, like she's a god. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, but like, I, I did think. Like, oh, yeah. go ahead. Sorry. It was like, but like it was like. I was looking at the comments and it was like different sides. Like some people were like, oh, Cora's going to win. And other people were like, are you kidding me? She's going against an Omega level mutant. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Storm's going to win. I'm just sitting here just like, mm-hmm. wouldn't you guys like to know who's actually going to win? <laughs> Very michael is of you. Yeah, it was. Uh-huh. Yeah. Very Michael. Yeah. Very Mike. And, uh-huh. and, and something I wanted to piggyback off of because you said during the Batgirl Spider Gwen fight, it's like you already knew that you know Gwen was gonna win, but is that something that they tell you like when you first come in for the uh, part, or you just find out like as you're reading the script? As you're reading the script, basically, wow. like um, they'll they'll send you the script either the day before, or like thirty, like a half an hour before the actual session, um, and you could like read through it. For me, I like to keep like the shock and surprise of like say a character death. So I I was familiar with Death Battle when I initially got cast for Batgirl and I was like, okay, I know what's I know what the deal is. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die, but let's just hold off reading the script until the actual session. So we're going through the lines and then we finally get to the scene where she dies, Ergo getting her whole throat snatched out so mm. i was like oh yeah cool i get to choke and die on a on a mic that's fun uh wasn't fun for my throat though but <laughs> uh, yeah but, but yeah no um i don't know if it works for other people but i genuinely like to like keep the truth and like a character so um more often than not if i get more often than not, I typically, like depending on the client, I'll get the script early before the session and I'll just be reading it for the first time. So for things like this, where I know there's death involved, I typically try to wait until the actual session just to keep like the whole, I guess the surprise of it all. And a, bit of mystery. in terms of voice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that because it's like, that's just always something that I wondered because 
with death battle you know uh you have these matchups and whatnot and it's like i've always wondered like do the voice actors that go in for these like are they told ahead of time or is it just something that they just find out when while they're reading the script so that way it stays a surprise you know hey other death battle actors might be different for me but i'm like yay Give me death during the session. I would appreciate it. That's right. <laughs> death during the session. So mm. final question I have for you about uh, death battle. Um, because in the comments, they always tell everybody, you know, if you could see something in death battle, what would it be? What would be your ultimate death battle that you would like to see? <laughs> I kind of already got my wish with uh, Broly and... Um, Hulk? What was it? Yeah, Broly and Hulk. That was my wish. I was like, yo, those are like some two titans. And then to end like the whole, like with the anniversary of Death Battle with that fight that people have been asking for for ages, I was like, hey, done. It was a done deal. But besides that, I guess I'd say if I wanted to see anybody, I'd say Saitama against ichigo oh snap yeah yeah that's a I'm that's an interesting that. death yeah. battle yeah he's like, intrigued back yeah because i'm sitting here trying to picture this yeah i'm just kind of <laughs> thinking about it you know because you know? yeah because it's like because there's some wild ones um i'm trying to think I, it was i think it was oh, ang buddy. yeah it was ang versus uh yeah. Ed, edward elric and I was just like, well, why would they have Aang fight against Edward Elric? I mean, you know, like, yeah, he can make alchemy and whatnot, but it's like, I don't think, I didn't think that that was the a uphill good. battle. Yeah. I, I Now, if they would have did, because this is something that, you know, I talk with people about, me and D talk about this all the time. I would like to see Aang versus Midoriya because it's like, oh, both, we did talk about that. Both of them, both of them are similar. You know, Deku, he has the quirks of uh, the past. Uh, quirk users inside of him and whatnot and then ang he has the abilities of the past avatars and all that stuff the avatar state and i i just think that it would have been an interesting battle but you can't win still them all. happen uh, it could still happen and we know what the outcome is for poor deku though you know well uh, deku would be ang Oh, I, I ain't gonna so. give him them hands, oh, here bro. We go. Yeah, I mean, like, don't all. Bro, I mean, me and Banks talk about this from time yeah, to time. It's yeah, just... we talk about it. And, mm. it, and I love, I love asking people who they think will win because some people will say Deku, some people will say Ang. So, Shara, I want to ask you, who do you think will win between Deku and Ang? Those are my two boys. I love them. Oh, jeez. Uh... No pressure. Yeah, it's, I might have just lift my glasses of, up. It's a little bit of pressure because it's like on the one hand, Deku, he's literally trained his body to the point where broken bones do not like mess with him. He could still like keep riding even if he has like a broken, two broken arms and two broken legs. But then you got Aang who can literally bend Absolute elements. beast. And also apparently like, you know, think about it. Like he could water bend, which means he could blood bend. Which means he could manipulate mm. his whole body. That's so I'm crazy. sorry, but I'm gonna have to give this one to my boy Aang. Let's hey, go! Hey, I like that, but you gotta the uh, thing I'm gonna say about <laughs> Daku, because Black remember song. when Chenso was controlling go, Daku's everybody. body and the users, the past users, they were able to break Daku out of that. And he told all my he was just I don't know what happened to me. It's just one he minute. He got bailed my, out. Yeah, one but minute. This is different the, though. Yeah, he this got bailed out. What you mean? That was my that was mind manipulation. That was mind manipulation. All I'm gonna say, gonna say is that I'm looking at the clock, man. I'm not looking at the clock. All I was gonna say is that Aang, he would have to capture Deku because you know I don't want to go too far into the manga for people who don't read it, but there is one point where Deku tells all my he was just like, I'm I'm stronger than you than you were when you were at 100 percent now you know what that's i'm saying very bold of you so <laughs> it's like that's I what i'm saying Aang, like, I, Aang's basically a god though no, like, no he's got like, a, Aang's got a lot of bro, he's got Aang a lot got, of power Aang got shot in the back by lightning like come on man Azul. okay but see that's because he was caught off guard okay, okay. That, but look how that fast that deku is count. 
this guy. That's this a, it's guy the same. Is. It's the same. Don't like thing. hearing it. It's trash. the same thing say, when people don't. say that uh, that Miles Morales can beat Daku. I'm just like, come on, like no. That's who not the same. That? Who said no, that? It, it was First a big. All, it was a that? big argument. Jesus. Yeah, because I'm in a Facebook group called Urban. <laughs> she now. lifted the glasses up. And, oh no no no! Yeah, hey, you can lift the glasses up. People in the group. <laughs> the question was asked. Who would win between Spider Man, uh, Peter Parker, and Miles versus All Might and Deku? I'm just like, come on! And uh, the comic book readers was just like, if y'all don't read the comics, then y'all shouldn't be answering on this because Spider Man and Miles, well, the both the Spider Men would beat them. I'm just like, all right, like, come on. You know what Dang. you should have said? And if you don't read the manga, you can't beat comedy. Nah, that's what I said. You right, know right, I that's said what that. you said. It's like, of course. You said you can lift them glasses up. All I'm going to say, Spider. all I'm going to say is there's a big difference between Spider Man and Aang. There's a huge difference there. Okay. Very you ain't, you ain't, but I don't think you're putting enough respect on Aang's name. No, you know? no, I, 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 I no, like I'm Aang. I think Aang. he's riding with Aang on the Spider Man. Huh? I said you ride it with Aang on the Spider Man. Yeah, because right, no if it was Aang versus Spider, yeah, yeah. Aang will win. Oh. But no. Aang versus Deku, I, I'm giving it to Deku, and I'm gonna ask that question. I'm gonna ask that question on TikTok and see what everybody on TikTok says. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but bringing it back to uh, voice actors, Char, I want to ask you, like, what are some of your favorite characters that you've done so far? Questions. <laughs> That's what he does. Uh, Thank you, Dave. I was about to babies. say that too. The god look. They're only babies. I can't choose a favorite. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, <clears throat> I guess I could say which one I had the most fun. Like, like between, I want to say between Robin and uh, Jay from uh, Murder Drones. Uh, those two were just super dramatic one very homicidal and like i just felt like i could like just go all out like with both of those characters um mainly with robin just being completely i i don't understand why people like her she's so wacky i don't understand how people could take her seriously and then with jay she's just like well like i said she's crazy and homicidal and um just genuinely is just I like I like playing I like playing crazy characters. That's that's just one of my like one of my things that I would love to do more is just characters that are just completely unhinged, like just want to go ape shit like all the time. Um so <sighs> I can't believe you made me choose between my children. Hey, <laughs> hey, I just asked you what he did between, to his brother. I just asked sure you what you, you would choose it. between Deku and Aang. This is what I mean. <laughs> who, hey, who you think gonna win between Trav and D? We ain't fighting. Hey, it's, yeah, a death, it's a death it's a battle, right? No, it doesn't it. make sense. Yeah, double, yeah, man, o, double, o, you. double OT versus Reverend D. Who's gonna win? Oh, no, not, it's rebellious. You're mispronouncing it, Playboy. Yeah. Wow. And that, rebellious. We're gonna hit you with that plot, that, that saw plot yeah, twist. Tra- We're gonna yeah, team Tra- up. Tra- we got take some for him. The, take out the world's number one hero, right? Yeah, there. Who this guy. Yeah, you got some for me, like damn, man. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. And we've been waiting a long time to give it to long you. Long time. <laughs> and hey, we've been talking about a bunch of random stuff. And um, I think I heard you say, "Are are you from Detroit?" I am. Yeah. Okay. And you know, Detroit, man. There's so much music prestige that have came out of Detroit. Some of the greatest MCs have come uh, out of Detroit. Some of the greatest icons of all time. Kiss have come out of Detroit. So like, what you be listening to? What you be jamming? <laughs> Music. Are you into Detroit local? Uh, local sound? Uh, I be like, I do have um, friends who were um, in like the music scene back in university. Uh, so I would always be like going out to like see like local bands. Um, more often than not, they would be like electronica, like like new R and B. Some were like soft rock. Um, not my scene, but I would just go out to support. Um, typically, I usually listen to. Wow, I usually I listen to pretty much anything as long as it's not country. <laughs> 
you know like i i love this everything guy. <laughs> yeah I, it's not like not to say that there are country is bad right like, that's just it's just one not, of them not things to, not oh, to say take it easy. Whoa, whoa. Not to say that there aren't some exceptions, okay? Before he cheats, that's a banger. Mm-hmm. Um, what is it? The Wichita line man. And I don't yeah, know that's that pretty one. much it for me. Y'all know the Wichita huh. line? I was just talking uh, about uh Darius Rucker. Darius that Rucker. Boy, that boy good. Uh-huh. That boy good. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Booty uh, in the blow face. Booty in the yeah, blow Don't 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 Come give on, away black history, Mom Shara. <laughs> yeah. I'm That's sorry. the lead singer. Beauty and the Blowfish. I always remember when I was a you kid. You never seen the Burger King commercials? She got the cowboy <laughs> hat on. Brenda Chris uh, Bacon Ranch. Whatever, happened to, right whatever right. happened to Cowboy Troy? Cowboy he's Troy. Sleep. This guy. He's sleep. He's sleep. Somebody he's dropped sleep. him. <laughs> but no, but Char, I'm the same way. Like people will be like, "Well, what is your favorite music?" I'm like, uh, "I like everything except country." So it's like I get where you're coming from, and it's not that you're crapping on country because there are certain artists that you like. It's just that you don't you don't go out of your way to listen to it. But <clears> if you were at a party or something and somebody had country music playing, you wouldn't be like, "Hey, turn that off or change it to something else." It's oh, just, I, would. I would. I know. I bet you would. I mean, it depends on the song. More often than not, I will say change it. Yeah, it's gotta go. All right. Something gotta go. Either it's gotta go or I gotta go. But I don't know, man. Well, not, it's me. Look, I have man. to go. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your boy gotta get out of there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, Trey, did you have another question? Because I only have one more question. And no, I'm just, good. Okay. All right, because D has the last question. So my question that I have for you, Shara, is because it is Black History Month, uh, give me your favorite Black character in entertainment, pop culture. Comic book hero, anime. Who's your favorite? Cartoon. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Come on. I grew, like, I grew up with so many. You know what I mean? Like, you got Susie from Rugrats. You got Back. Virgil. Bro. Static Shock. Number five. Number five. Hey, that number yes. five. What I what I love, what I love that you're doing right now is because you said number five, then you said Susie Carmichael. I mean, hey, Cree it's Summer. Cree. You know Cree what I'm saying? Summer ruled my childhood. Like Sorry. straight up. I would not be here without her. Like, because again, there was a time where I just assumed, like, oh, if you choose like one avenue of acting, that's it. You can't do anything else. Yeah. Was watching a different world. Um, saw Cree on there and mm-hmm. like I, I was listening to her voice and I was like, yo, she sound she sound mad familiar. And <laughs> look up her <laughs> credits and I go, no. Yup. Oh, I was like, oh, she could do both? That. So like I would not be here talking to y'all and doing what I'm doing without her. Cause like I legitimately did not think I could go into VO since I thought, oh, film and TV is for me. <laughs> but oh, you cannot make me choose just one. What is wrong with you? Hey, hey you know what? <laughs> hey, an evil it's, it's, man. Hey, look, it's a first time for everything. I'll give you two. Still not enough, but OK. <laughs> um, well, obviously, Static Shock. That man ruined my childhood. And um, who should I give number two to? Damn. Uh, Brock. <laughs> Brock. 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 Oh, Brock. Y'all know Brock. who? I, yeah, y'all know who I'm talking about. Nah, the dude, the dude nah, with the onyx. Nah, nah, nah. I'm Brock. not giving that to Brock. I'm sorry. Bless. Brock him, ain't no. black. Like, what's wrong? With Yo, you, just, man? just shout out to my man, uh, Tozen from Bleach. <laughs> Sweet. Oh shit! Yeah. Um, no, no, no. I'm gonna give it to Static Shock and number five. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, I like that. That's, hey, that's that's my pers- my other persona. You know, when I get up from this chair, I go out and fight crime, right? Hey, he I, I mean, that is, uh-huh. you know, D you does it lady. all. Now, he fights mm-hmm. crime in the church. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Hey, take take it easy. Take it easy, Trav. Hey, I'm fighting them demons. Hey, hey D, 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 D be up on stage giving the sermon, and then the static, the static shock symbols up in the sky. He was like, hey, it's time to wrap this service yeah. up. Go. Wrap it up. <laughs> God damn, Stingray, you got me. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> no, but but no, Trav, he's he's our resident Richie. You know what I'm saying? We got yep. we got That's static right. here, we got Richie. Uh 
I don't know. I guess I'm rubber band man. Yeah, man. I was just about to say rubber band. And, uh, man. It, it is cool man. because uh, we we interviewed Jason Marsden and you know we told him like how big of fans we were of Static Shock and uh, you can listen to that episode or you can watch it. It's on our YouTube. It's on the podcast. Everybody that's listening and watching right now, and uh, you can also hear Jason, you know, singing the song from a Goofy movie and Trav getting scared. And uh, yep. missing out That's on part of one it. of his idols. Froze up. He froze up on him. I froze hey, up, we... and we're just going to continuously talk about it, I guess. Okay. Well, I mean, tra- <laughs> hey, we you left said, you alone for a few you months. You said that Frozen soundtrack was, was fire. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> you was frozen. So. Low blows. Easy now. Yeah, low blows. That's ah. the treatment around here. My <laughs> God. Um, uh, yeah, go ahead, D. Yeah, my two wrap up questions. I'm going to change it up a little bit because we kind of snowballed into horror earlier. So, um, first question, if you had one bit of advice for anybody trying to get into the, the field of acting slash voice acting, what would you give them? One tip. One tip, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we don't like multiple that, answers. Yeah, it doesn't here, have to be, really. no, yeah, it just yeah, doesn't yeah. have to be, I don't want her to feel like it has to be gigantic, but you know, you I'm, eat an elephant one bite at a time, you know, you put all the pieces know, together. I'm, I'm trying to sound wise, even there you go. You got this, uh, 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 Jedi Master. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, patience, patience, hmm. patience, patience is okay. Patient. There is a lot of people, myself included, at times, um, who might come into this industry thinking that, oh, like you know, I'm I'm the next best. I have to do everything now, now, now because you know it's you only live once right and uh you like you see all these people who you admire and who you look up to and you're like i have to get to where they are like now like immediately yeah all right back take your time like your time is gonna come when it's gonna come and until it does uh and like you know if you want to get to that point if you want to get to where this person is Invest time in yourself, invest time in your space, invest time in your equipment, invest time in your craft and technique. There are plenty of ad, like VO artists who will tell you like, oh, you don't need to take a theater class to get into VO. You don't, but as someone who has had theater training, I would say like in terms of like things like uh, video games and um anime if you want that projection if you want that animation and you want that mm-hmm. li- like liveliness in your performance take a yep. theater class if it's there available you to you there you, you don't go. need to <laughs> but i would recommend it to you right. um and just don't don't look at like all these posts that people like make about like oh i got cast in this or oh i'm in this agency and think oh man like they're doing all of this and I'm not doing anything. You are doing something. You're investing time into yourself. And eventually you are going to get to that level. But until then, patience. <laughs> that's yeah. Hell tip. yeah. Hey, Motivation. Great. Hey, yeah, that's great. I love that tip. Now, uh, question number two. Favorite 80s or 90s movie or both? What is that's the final with question? You people, you just like to torture me. That's Seriously, what we do here. It's the fi- hey, su- you're at the end of the, you're at the end of the line right here. So. Bro, I'm surprised Banks ain't say it. What? Like in horror, like in horror, or just in no, general? no, no, just, oh, in, just general. in general. Favorite '80s or '90s movie in oh, general. Typically, I'll ask somebody, you know, <laughs> what. Uh, what scared you and really stuck with you growing up, but we kind of already went into Saw, so I figured it would be, you know. Plus, you know, I had to you know, like, it up. D, listen, changed I, watched, it up, I was man. about to say, I watched Saw when I was like seven. There is nothing that scares me. <laughs> Although I do have nightmares. But anyway. Uh, I, believe, I believe that. <laughs> 80s, 90s, God. This is tough because I have a lot of 80s and 90s movies. What was the movie? When I when I got the question out, what was the first one that came to mind? An American Werewolf in London. Sick wow, movie. Such a good movie. Sick movie. Such a good right. movie. One of my right, favorite Thanks ain't seen it, but oh, I have seen it. Time. Yeah, okay. I was, about to, I was about to say. And I can you fly. You better go That's watch it right there's after There's a lot podcast. of movies. Hey. Shara, I just watched uh, The Color Purple for the first time. Last Don't be year. proud what? of that. Why are you smiling? He's Why do you keep putting yourself on black, especially in <laughs> Jeez. black history? Well. I gotta take him all the way off now. What? 
Yeah. And it's my what? mom's favorite movie too. The color purple just now. Kind of guy he is. Now you know. Now you know the full extent of what we deal with here. <laughs> all leveling up with Benjamin Banks. I still got to see wow. the help. I bet you do. You need some help. Honestly. Guy. Good luck to you on that. Well, <laughs> Good I, luck just, to you on that. <laughs> I just, I just, I just watched a bunch of Disney movies for the first time. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of movies what? that I didn't see. I yeah. hope you mean Disney Channel and not actual like Walt oh, Disney no. movies. Nah, he talking about Walt. It's straight out of the vault. Some of them. Straight like I just, out of the vault. I just watched The Princess and the Frog for the first time this year. Moana. Moana. Don't stop there. I love this part of it. Uh, what? Uh, Frozen two. Mm -hmm. A brave, uh, this guy's Atlantis. Two. Frozen two, I don't hold against you. Everything else, well, what's this what's hatred? Hold on, hold on, let me keep going. Treasure Planet. Frozen two is a good I, movie. I, no, we got to uncover the truth on the frozen hatred. It runs Ooh, deep. Trav. I can. Yeah, you I need to. Sorry, it. you need to let it go. Like, I can. Yeah, on. let it go. What is this hatred? What <laughs> happened? <laughs> what happened? Uh -oh. Frozen is what happened. That movie did not deserve <laughs> any of the acclaim that it got. It did not deserve a sequel. It did not deserve any little spinoff Frozen Fever. It did not deserve no little uh, Olaf's little mm. adventure to find his nose. Did not mm. deserve any You know a lot about Frozen for somebody that yeah. don't like Ooh. Frozen. Ooh. She didn't keep her tabs on them. I have a younger <laughs> sister, okay? That you know what it is? Watch her, watch her, this is your villain. They're going to open up the door of her room. It's going to be frozen, frozen picture. She got the newspaper oh, wire. Oh, no. I'm bapping oh, it out. Nah, nah, it's going to be like, uh, nah, it's gonna be like J. Nah. Jonah James. So she, she got Olaf hanging right up on the wall. No, it's going to be like Helga with <laughs> Arnold in good. the closet. Bro, oh, you got to nah. open up Wait, her closet. Nah. There goes the frozen memorabilia all in the closet. It's a secret. Uh -huh. Y'all not about to play me like that. Y'all are not about to play me like that. I am an avid Frozen hater. Wow. All my friends know seen? it. Mm -hmm. Everybody know it. Because there's so many plot holes in this movie. Literally mm. the only thing it has for it, writing on it, is its soundtracks. Yeah. And even yeah. and even then, some of the songs in the soundtrack, it just don't click. It don't click. Like There's a lot of like plot holes hey. in Little Mermaid too, but hey. uh, whoa. Well, well, Shia, I tell you what though, whoa. all the songs in Encanto, they fire though. Them songs hit. Not every Encanto, song. No, Tra no, no, trash, shut up. Song. Shut no. up. Encanto shut up. It's a flawless movie. There are maybe a few plot holes, just a little minuscule. Not as many as Frozen. Not as many. Now I'm gonna Not be honest many. with you. I don't think that deep when it comes to a Disney movie, so it can have all the plot holes. Trav ain't it, never had trauma, so he good. You know what I'm saying? Trav good. Like I never yeah, had trauma. You never had trauma. Because the trauma is try listening to Let It Go 14 times a day. Not well, a week, a day. I that would never do that to myself. You. I would never do that I to didn't myself, do it bro. to myself. My younger sister mm. did it to me. Gee, what is it saying I that you always lived. say? <laughs> The monsters are born and created. <laughs> like, I, I will sit here and admit it. Frozen is my villain story. You could tag mm, that mm, in there. Well, like, well I Shai, not fucking Frozen. I want to let you know, um, you know, because we're all here in VA and um, it's snowing right now. So would you like to come and build a snowman with us? <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? Okay, uh, bye. So funny. <laughs> Nice. nice. That's what nice. I you. I, I gotta hear what this 90s movie. Yeah, we yeah, we <laughs> Oh the 90s movie. Yeah, y'all saw the takeaway. Y'all got, to, got go the ahead. 80s. Now I'm gonna give y'all the 90s. My favorite 90s movie has to be Hercules. Hercules was like okay. my first my first animated crush. I love that's it. That's another fire. That's, a good movie, that's, yeah. hey, that's, no, a, that's in my top five. Never going to top my standards because hercules is my standards that man yeah, that's a good high standard tough, he bold he uh -huh. cute and he's kind you don't get that you don't get oh. that for nowadays but then oh, you, you never met think, my man benjamin you, banks but, over here but you also got to think hey. too but you also got to think too like sometimes hercules is just like yo i don't want to fight cerberus you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't>, <laughs> Sometimes it happens be under the surface, and you know, you know honestly, because Hercules is one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. I feel like it's underrated, even though it's not. It is. 
but it's like a lot it's of people don't really, talk about Hercules. It's not underrated. Right. It's just old. So they've already came no, out with like twenty don't other. Don't say that, bro. Because it, it came say, out in nineteen ninety five. No, bro. Like, I'm I'm ta- no, it out a year before I was born. When I so. talk about Hercules, like I mean, like when you usually talk with people about their favorite Disney movies, like if you say what your top five is, you know, her, I've never heard hercules up there i probably heard it like one or two times you know what i'm saying but you know it's hard to compete with lion king and aladdin Aladdin. okay so just because it's not in the top five don't mean that it's underrated but still but people don't talk about her he got some bangers bro yeah i know but i feel like i feel like big hero six is mad underrated underrated. that movie is fire it is nobody talks about that movie that movie is fire and banks probably ain't even too although to be Ooh. fair, is it really that underrated? Because it got a whole world in Kingdom Well, now Hearts it is. Three. Now it is. You what, know, they had like a little. Like it got a whole world over Princess and the Frog. Yeah. In Kingdom Hearts three, so I don't know if it's underrated. I just seen yeah, somebody. Right. You sounded like, like Dan right now. Dan, nah, I sound like I never sound like Dan. First off, Ooh. Ooh. Like Dan. but uh, hey, I just seen a, I just seen a Princess and the Frog, uh, like car design where it was all princess and the frog and i was like that's fine that's kind of sick well yeah, then, you dude, know was, uh, the nice. tiana series is about to come out and then um also too i mean since we talk about princess and the frog i interviewed um cosplayer amber berry and like her go-to cosplay is tiana because princess and the frog is her favorite movie and shara she made the same reaction when i told her i had never seen the movie either so i mean i get this all the time and you hello <laughs> that's what he does <laughs> it's just what it is this is what I he didn't did. even he didn't even know the color Beautiful. purple was a musical probably mm. i know huh dig him see he Take had no idea i just blew huh? his mind the color purple is a musical bro no he's sweating he's sweating, sweating too the try of this the glasses yeah look at him off. what do i what I do i do a, i know it's a what book. i do Dang. i didn't know i didn't now have y'all seen the color purple too look he changed the subject real quick <laughs> <identity, bro. Look laughs> <laughs> ain't no getting out of that hole tonight buddy i'll break the ladder for you we'll let oh, you out man. in the morning hey, i'll let you out oh, in the man. morning hey, 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 so, uh, uh, so, well, get back got... in the pound with your brother hey so <laughs> what, I, I, what do i gotta stay in the uh, hole with the water bugs tonight then Dang. all right yep all right Somebody got to get the vaccine or whatever it was, the oh, cure. God. Somebody got to go down there. But no, uh, oh, uh, Mashara, wow. thank you so much for joining us up here today, man. Like, it was a fun episode. It was right. filled with a bunch of laughs. Sorry that yeah. Banks disappointed you as much as he I did. I did yeah. not di- disappoint her. Hey, Banks, can you can you wait until, you know, after the month's over to let people you know you haven't seen Color Purple? I think it's the best thing we can it's do just, right Yo, now. it's just so wild. I don't think when, when I tell people of other races that I have not seen the color purple, they're just like, hell. <laughs> like, like, yeah, it's like, a staple, man. Like one, like one of my uh, Puerto Rican friends who I interviewed on Who's That Cosplayer, uh, Lila Three Fifty. We were talking because she had asked me a question about it, and I was just like, yeah, I've never seen the movie, and she was just like, so nonchalantly. And she was like, like no, she was like, like it was no big deal. She said, <laughs> "How are you black and you have never seen this movie?" And I was just like. It just never appealed to me and appeal to some you. Some stuff isn't about appeal though. And she Ew. and she said that's not the right sentence to use. And she <laughs> and look, I mean, I was a kid when it when uh, I heard about it and I you know, I just didn't want to watch it when I was a kid. I mean mm. here you are again. Bro, what was at. the Disney Channel original version movie? Oh, I seen that. Uh it, it the was, color it of was friendship. Their, a color of friendship. The color of friendship. Oh yeah. bro. my god. Well, what about that? Well, so what is that? Color of friendship. The man ain't seen color purple. Come on, the color Banks, purple ever, for me. Banks, you ever seen Aladdin? It was for you. That's the problem, no, bro. bro when I was a, when I was a kid, the color purple wasn't for me. Like, why would why would it be like, hey, mom, put on the color purple? Like, come on. Mm. Yeah, yeah, all of y'all can say that. But all go ahead. Gonna, uh, all I'm yeah, gonna go say. Ahead. It got quiet. Look, all I'm gonna say is when my grandfather was still alive, rest in peace. He didn't have me watching uh certain movies. We watched action stuff and uh horror stuff, and that was it. Don't so. worry, I'll bring the ladder for you in the morning. I hope you don't get covered in snow. Uh, I, you in the hole for the snow, man. Oh, Mashara, man. again, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let everybody in social media land know where they can find you at. Sure. Uh, so hey guys. 
Um, you guys can find me under my uh, usual handle, which is uh, Shara Nicole um, That's on my Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, whenever I get back to streaming. Um, I also have a Facebook, but I don't really use it that often. So just ignore that. And uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Thank you yeah, so yeah. much. Trav, double O-T, terrific mm -hmm. Trav. Let them know where they can find you at. I'm on the Instagram at ZK Audio. I'm on the Twitter at T-R-A-V-I-O-S-Z-K. Or I'm also on Letterboxd ranking and rating my daily movie watches. D, the rebellious one, as we <laughs> oh, like to thank, say. Thank you, Trav. You brought it back. I'm back on it. I mean, dang, it was like you said Shazam, and here I was. <laughs> <laughs> God, the light hit me in the chest. Uh, no, but uh, you can find me at rebellious double underscore D23 at Instagram.com. Hey, and Banks, if somebody wants to build a hero, where can they find one? Hey, you can find <laughs> me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, at King Benji underscore Banks on Twitter and Instagram. You can find me on Facebook at Benjamin Banks. I should be the first person to pop up. If not, then I need to contact Mr. Zuckerberg. Thank you again, everybody, for watching another brand new episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Like I always say, keep that pinky up. Stay positive. We'll see you next time. Peace. Thanks again, everybody, for watching another episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe to the channel. Podcast, we got that too. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that bell for further episodes and notifications. Thanks a lot to our patrons. And if you don't mind, join the Patreon. We'll be having new specials coming up soon.